in this lecture we will talk about estimation of sigma square so as we know ss residual is equal to summation over ei square where ei is a residual of a i term so what is the value of ei it is equal to yi minus yi hat whole square now I am just replacing y i hat by beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x i whole square. So, it will become y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i whole square. I am now going to replace beta naught hat by y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar minus beta 1 cap x i whole square. Since we know beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. Now, it is summation over i is going summation from y from i is going from 1 to n it is equal to y i minus y bar plus because minus minus plus so, it will become beta 1 cap x bar minus beta 1 hat x i whole square. Summation, so it will become y i minus y bar you can take common minus beta 1 cap. So, x i minus x bar whole square. I am just bracketing here and just taking this as a minus b whole square. So, you have to open up it will become a square plus beta 1 cap x i minus x bar whole square. Just take a big bracket it will be equal to 2 times y i minus y bar beta 1 cap x i minus x bar. So, s s residual is equal to summation over y i minus y bar whole square plus beta 1 cap summation over x i minus x bar whole square minus 2 times since beta 1 hat is a constant. So, it will come outside x i minus x bar y i minus y bar. Now, this will this thing is equal to our s y y plus beta 1 cap square it is equal to s x x minus 2 times beta 1 hat and it is nothing but our s x y. Now, you can say s s residual is equal to s y y plus beta 1 cap square s x x minus 2 times beta 1 hat you can replace s x y by beta 1 hat beta 1 hat into s x x. Since we know beta 1 cap is equal to s x y upon s x x. So, from here you can say s x y is equal to beta 1 hat into s x x. Now, you can write s s residual is equal to s y y plus beta 1 hat s x x and it will become minus 2 times beta 1 hat square s x x. Now, the final statement will be sum of residuals is equal to s y y minus beta 1 cap square s x x. Now, this is the final expression of s s residual. This is the convenient form of s s residual and we are going to use this in next lecture to find the expected value of sigma square or you can say to estimate the value of sigma square. I am just writing here that expected value of s s residual divided by n minus 2 is equal to sigma square. This statement says that 
एस एस रेसिडुअल अपॉन एन माइनस टू इज एन अनबायस्ड एस्टिमेटर ऑफ सिग्मा स्क्वायर सो वी कैन यूज दिस टर्म एट द प्लेस ऑफ सिग्मा स्क्वायर बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा स्क्वायर इज अनोन एंड इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वेरियंस ऑफ बीटा नॉट हैट एंड बीटा वन हैट देन यू हैव टू यूज दिस वैल्यू बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा स्क्वायर सो वी वी यूज द एस्टिमेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा स्क्वायर ओनली देयर